Hi, my name's Shaq, and today we're talking about germination. We're gonna talk about how to pop a seed and how to plant a seed. So we're gonna start with what we're gonna need. We're gonna need ourselves some dechlorinated water, a Ziploc bag, a paper towel, some seeds of course, and then to plant them, we're gonna go ahead and need some mycos, a small pot, and a little bit of potting soil. First off, let's go ahead and grab our dechlorinated water, then we're gonna take our paper towel. This we're gonna cut in half, so we're gonna do a couple of them. And then gently dip it inside of your water, and rinse it out a little bit. You want this to be damp, not soaking wet. Then you're gonna go through, you're gonna take your seeds that you've chosen, whatever it may be. Today we have chives. And you're gonna place your chives on the inside of the wet part. Fold it back in half and place it inside of your bag. Make sure to mark a date as well as what's inside of here. Close it up and place this inside of a dark, warm area and leave it for about three days. After three days, you usually should see a seed pop anywhere from three to seven, depending on the seed and how hard the shell is. How do we know that our seed is ready to go? You're gonna take it out of that bag and then you're gonna take a look at it and it should have a little white piece coming out. That's actually gonna be your tap root. That tap root's all you need to go ahead and get it ready to go. Now that we have our seed ready to go, we are going to go ahead and get ourselves a small pot, fill it with a little bit of soil and make sure that it's nice and wet. Make sure the water that you're using is dechlorinated. It's gonna be better for your seed, healthier for your seed, and make sure that when you start watering, there's no added nutrients inside. Give it a good mix to make sure that it's moist all the way through. From there, we're gonna take about a half of an inch down. We're gonna take some of our mycos here. There's two sides to this. We're gonna take the smaller side, drop a little bit in there, take your seed, plant it, Cover the top. We want to use mycos because this is a mycorrhiza. This mycorrhiza is going to continue to help your root zone and make it happen faster for you. Last thing that we're going to recommend is as your seed continues to grow, make sure you top off with soil to ensure that the root zone stays in the dark. That's about it for now. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.